Hi guys, Enorita here. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out an online pattern making software called Taylor Nova. I've had so much review about it. So I'm going to test it out and see how easy it is to use. With this online pattern making software, all you have to do is to put in your body measurements and it creates your patterns for you to fit your exact figure. So let's go and see how this works. Now, the very first thing we need to do, of course, is to get to the Taylor Nova website. And that's the spelling Taylor Nova. So put that in your Google and let's get to the website. Now, this is a website and what you need to do is to sign up. It's very easy. Put an email and a password and a password confirmation and then create account. Now, when you do that, they send you an, a, a, a confirmation email to your account and you're going to click on that to be able to start using Telonova. This is the email that they normally send to you. So once you get that email, just click on confirm your email. Now, once you do that, it takes you to this place where you need to fill in your name, your last name, your phone number, and then a few questions. Then you finish your registration. So I am in Tele, Telonova right now. That's my account. And the first, first thing that you see is videos that actually tell you how to use this Telenova. If you want to see a list of the lessons that you want, that means if you don't want to go through all the videos, which I will advise you to go through all the videos, because it will actually help you to know how the whole system functions. As you can see, they tell there's a quick start video telling you all about this. They tell you how to create and save your measurements how to find patterns depending on your fabric preference, how to print and download sewing instructions this is very important. In fact, number three, number five, how to create and save a new design is important. And of course, how to download and how to use the grading system. So it depends on your preference. So the good thing here is that you can jump to the video that you want. Like right now, the very first thing I think we need to do is to create and save measurement so you can go through the video here show you exactly how to do that because that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to be uploading my measurements onto the tele Nova so let me get my measurement in here I think you go right down to this uh, right sample size and click on it so once you do that it comes out this box comes out and tells you create 3d fit model now my unit is in centimeter and fit model is female hmm? so good what I'm going to do now you're going to put your measurements in here and for you to see how to do the measurement you just click this question mark and then it will show you exactly how to do the measurement for that particular section bus circumference you click the question mark and it shows you how to actually measure your bus circumference including the instructions on how to do that so i'll quickly put in all my measurements in centimeters and I'll be back. So I'm back. I've put in all my measurements. Everything essentially is quite easy, except I want to bring your attention to some measurements here that I have not actually done before. I'm seeing it for the first time. This measurement, if you click on the question mark, it shows you how to do the measurement. I've not done this before. So you have to be particularly careful when you're doing it and try to make it as accurate as possible. Putting your tape right from the back of your neck, crossing it across your front neck, and then bringing it down to your bust point and taking that measurement. So that is how you do that one. 
I just feel I should explain it to some people that have that are not so used to it. Then the other one is the um there was one other one. I think this one. No, this is the one I just finished with. Let's look at this one. Yeah, this one. This one is th they call it front length of center back neck point. So you take you put your tape from the back of your neck where you have that bone at the back of your neck take it across your neck across the front of your neck and then down across your bust point to your waist point so that's how you're going to take this measurement i hope that is very clear since this is a computer headed thing this is a computer um pattern making software it's good you just do it exactly as it is so that we can have a perfect fitting pattern at the end of the day and of course the belly brought to it depends on you i don't know how your belly is but from here you should be able to know if you have a big tummy this is the one you will choose if you have a flat tummy this is the one you will choose and they are alphabetical and then the buttocks do the same thing So it depends on how it is you just choose the one that suits your body shape i think once you're done you just click here use this model as default for new designs i want to click it because i will do another design and when i'm doing another design i will not need to enter all this it will just use this uh, measurements that i have already entered and once i've done i'll click on save model so now you're done with saving your model if you want to see your model you just go here to your account name click on it and then click on 3d fit models and of course it shows you your saved model right here my god am i this fat goodness so what you can do you can click here to edit it if you've grown fatter or you've grown slimmer you can edit your measurements right here you can duplicate it you can archive it and you can delete it so now we are done with the measurements let's go and see the most interesting part designing a particular pattern so to get your design going you just go here and click on silhouette once you click on silhouette all kinds of designs will come out all kinds of designs will come out here um you can you can you know click whatever sleeve you want with this design or you can just go here and choose your sleeves font style you can look for whatever one you want if you want a style with a front zip with a front seam with a neckline split seam with a button down in front whatever one you want you just choose it or you just look at the pictures and then choose whatever one you want any one you choose it will show you the patterns how they are going to be you know printed out whatever one you choose like this is the one i chose and if you just put your cursor on it it will not tell you what how it's going to look it's a straight shoulder princess seam with center front seam and front seam woven so that is what it's going to look like if i go to the back this is what the back is going to look like both so just play around and choose one just choose one go scroll down look for the one that you want look for what you want and of course if you want the length of the, the dress to be above your knee you tick there if you want it to be below your knee you tick here so and as you tick everything will just be adjusted so essentially let's pick out one and let's go on to the next stage so you go ahead and click on sleeves and then pick the sleeves that you want this is the sleeve that i I picked for myself 
the thing is that once you click on any sleeve for instance let me click on this it will change and show you exactly how the gown is going to look on you with the new sleeves so that's a new sleeve that is how the gown is going to look if i'm on a paid one it will actually show me a discount a seed a 3d form of how this gown will fit on my body but since i'm just using a free one to check out this first to see how it looks and how easy it is for a novice then i'll know whether i'm going to subscribe to it or not so let's go back to the sleeve that i chose so i'm done with designing my dress i have put my hand this is the hand i want for the dress you can decide whatever you want so my design is ready the next thing is actually to download it i have my front as how my front will look this is how the back will look with a zip so let's see um let me download it and then seam allowance let's see what do i need to do one centimeter seam allowance 1.6 centimeter seam allowance I think I will leave it as it is. One cent is not supposed to be so tight. So one centimeter seam allowance is okay. Leave it at as it is. So let's print it or rather download it. I'm downloading it as a PDF. print patterns on fold and so this is in centimeters it's going to be a4 and i'm going to download it so i have my pattern downloaded and that brings me to the very end of this particular video an introduction to this free pattern making software Telenova. A disclaimer here, Telenova is not sponsoring me. I'm just trying to use it and make a video to see how simple it is to use because I've heard so many people talking about it. And I hope I've been able to explain to you, especially if you're a novice. It looks simple enough, but I cannot say anything until I finish doing the sewing and seeing the fitting and all that. So I'm going to print it out and in my next video, I'm going to show you how to put together the printouts and then i will do the cutting and when i finish doing the sewing we are going to look at the fitting thank you so much for watching till my next video